once again your most welcome promotion candidates um, kindly join me and let's look at this um, special area before we go and write our promotion exams if you are a new person kindly like the video share it and if you haven't subscribed do well to subscribe today we are looking at special duties of a head teacher some of the special duties that head teachers perform in their various schools and if you are a head teacher and you are not performing these functions then you need to revisit your notes and go back and perform these functions so there are numerous functions that head um, teachers perform and this area is another area that they must do well in their schools to improve teaching and learning in the school let's um, go through this and see these functions that they perform um, function number one is to receive teachers posted to um, his or her school and record their particulars in the teacher's record book. It is very important that the headmaster um, do this. Another function that he or she does is to um, um, register um, learners or peoples that is admission of peoples or learners so to make admissions um, and to make sure that particulars of the children who he admits or he enrolls in the school are put in the admission register then another function that he or she does is assigning shadows to teachers shadows like the sports um the sports the um, culture uh, garden and counseling um and the rest to teachers to perform um these special tax or taxes then another thing that he does or she does is to assign teachers to classes or um, assign teachers to subjects if it is in the form of a GSS. He allocates subjects and teaching periods to um, teachers. Then he distributes um, teaching and learning materials to teachers like the curriculum or the syllables or the teaching and um, the teacher's notebook it's also one of the materials that he gives or he gives a chalk and the rest to the teachers uh, so that they were able to deliver their um, respective um, duties then allocation of room to um, room to classes so he assigns um, rooms to um, classes being in class one class two class three he is responsible to allocate um, these um, classes or these rooms to the classes then vetting of um, the teachers lesson notes or lesson plan is also a duty that a special duty that he performs and he also um, vet the scheme of learning this or the scheme of work it is the work of the head teacher to do this then inspecting people um, exercises um, or exercise books to ensure that teachers are giving um, adequate or enough exercises to the, the people is also one of the functions of a head teacher. He need not to be sitting in the office without doing his work well. Then inspecting of um, the SBAs or the continual assessment records to ensure that teachers make the correct entries of um, test or um exams that they have done at the end of the term then supervising and conducting demonstration lessons for teachers um from time to time is another work of the head teacher 
if the head teacher is not able to do demonstration lessons then he is not supposed to be a head teacher then organizing in service training for teachers it is the work of the head teacher to do this and or organizing plc um plc meetings for teachers to develop their um, professional knowledge and the rest is the work of the head teacher then ensuring punctuality and regularity among teachers and people um, by the head teacher he makes sure that teachers come to school on time and they also come to school regularly likewise the people also come to school on time and uh, on a regular basis then keeping important records such as the logbook um, the visitors book the cash book the <clears throat> the bank statement and the rest are in the hands of the head and he needs to perform this work well then collecting and payment of approved fees for the appropriate offices like collecting the examination um, fee and any other fee that is assigned to him or her to be collected must be done and done it well then another thing that the headmaster does or the head teacher does is to um, make sure that the school environment is clean and promotes a good health among people and the teachers um, by providing some um, um, tea rolls or providing uh, urinal places for or toilet places for the um, teachers to or the teachers and the learners to use it is the in the hands of the head teacher then handling of um special um correspondent or letters from um other um courtesies like the education um office and the rest should be in the hands of the head teacher then when a newly um a newly posted teacher um is sent to the school it is the work of the head to assign him or her a class or look for accommodation for that teacher so that he will be able to have a peace of mind to serve and serve well in the school then org organizing and chairing meetings like welfare meetings and staff meetings are in the hands of the head teacher and he needs to um, do this to help the school to grow then planning with planning with the support of his staff to um uh, draft or to um uh, make school performance um improvement programs very effective and involve all the staff members in um in drafting the the script it is very important then he he is having a signatories to the capitation grant account and he and his assistant then setting the school goals for the school to move on the long term goals the short term and the medium term of the school is in the hands of this um uh, in the hands of the head teacher so these are some of the functions that he performed aside the instructional um, functions that he performed these are some of the things that he he needs to do to make the school move forward kindly these are things that i can share continue to learn hard and i hope it will work well for you if you're a new person kindly subscribe and like and we shall meet another time bye bye